Have you been asked to calculate dividends per share for preferred stock and common stock, and you're not sure how to do that? Well, you've come to the right place because I'm Professor Capco, and I'm going to show you in today's video just how easy it is to do. But first, I want to say something wonderful is about to happen for you. Be on the lookout for it. And now, back to the video. In our example here, it tells us that on October 24th, the board of directors for ABC Company voted to distribute $1,250,000 to the company's shareholders. The company has issued 200,000 shares of 5% preferred stock with a par value of $25 and has 2 million shares of common stock outstanding. And then it asks you to calculate the dividend per share for preferred stock and the dividend per share for common stock. Let's break this down and go through it uh, to show you how to do that. First of all, so the distribution of dividends that's been voted on by the board of directors, and in this case, it's $1 million. $250,000. So in other words, $1,250,000 worth of the company's profits will be distributed out to the shareholders who are the owners of the company. Many times, this is why people buy stock in a particular company is to receive dividends, which is a portion or a share of the profit. Now here, we've got two classes of stock, and this is typical that a company might have two classes of stock. We have preferred stock and we have common stock. Now, without going into too much of the differences between those, the main thing you're gonna wanna know is that preferred stock is paid first. So, hence the name preferred, they get first preference. They get paid before the common shareholders get paid. So, in other words, if whatever amount of money is being distributed gets all paid out to the preferred shareholders, the common shareholders won't receive anything. And they know that going into this. That's why you have a choice of purchasing common stock or preferred stock. And again, there's some other things that make them different. For one thing, common stock gets to vote on things happening in the company, whereas preferred stock generally does not. And the other thing is that the distribution to the preferred stock, even though it is coming first, it is often limited. And in this case, it is limited to 5% of the par value. Now, again, par value is something that I've discussed in other videos. And it just means that it's kind of like the legal value of the stock. It's something that was set by the board of directors. It does not necessarily have anything to do with what the market value of the stock is. So you may or may not be able to purchase preferred stock in this particular company for $25 a share. Chances are the price that the market asks will be different from that price. But we're using the the par value to calculate the amount of dividend to be paid to the preferred stock. And in this case, it will receive 5% of the par value. So to calculate that, I start out with the par value, which is $25. And I'm going to multiply it by 5%. Well, when I'm multiplying, I'm going to change my percent to a decimal. If you don't remember how to do that, I've got a video linked up here that shows you how to do that. So we basically move the decimal place over. So 0 0.05 is the same as 5%. So we're going to multiply that out and see what that is. So if I've got $25 and I'm going to multiply it by 0 0.05, I wind up with $1.25. So it's $1.25 per share is the dividend for the prefer preferred stock. So $1.25. So that's the answer to the first part. Thank you for the, uh, the thumbs up. I really appreciate those. Those of you who have given me a thumbs up, that is awesome. And let's move on now to 
the common stock. Now, as I told you, the preferred stock gets paid first, and then what is left over gets paid to the common stock. So to calculate the amount for the common stock, we have to first figure out how much of the $1,250,000 has been paid out to the preferred, preferred shareholders. So we know that each preferred shareholder gets $1.25, and we're going to multiply that by the number of preferred shareholders. And this company has 200,000 shares of preferred stock. So I'm going to write down 200,000 here. So I take my $1.25 and I multiply it by 200,000. And I get 200. And fifty thousand dollars. So two hundred fifty thousand dollars has been used to pay preferred shareholders. We have a total of one million two hundred and fifty thousand dollars that's authorized. So I'm going to write that down: one million two hundred and fifty thousand dollars is authorized. And that's the information that we got from up in the problem. That's how much the board of directors authorized to be shared with the shareholders. I need to subtract out the amount of dividends paid to preferred shareholders. That's $250,000, which is the same as the $1.25 times the 200,000 shares. So I'm going to write down that's the preferred. And when I subtract... 250,000 from 1,250,000, I'm left with $1 million. So that's $1 million left to be paid to the common stockholders. Now, what I have to look at next is how much per share of common stock. So we need to look at how many shares of common stock are outstanding. In this case, we have 2 million shares of common stock outstanding. So that is the amount we're going to use. Always look at the amount of shares outstanding. Your problem might give you the number of shares issued or the number of shares authorized. Look for the number of shares outstanding because that only outstanding shares are paid dividends. So we've got $1 million left to be distributed. And we're going to distribute that to... 2 million shares, which are outstanding. So I write shares on the bottom. So if you take the $1 million, and you can see where this is going already, but let's put it in the calculator. $1 million, we're going to divide it by 2 million shares. That means each shareholder gets 50 cents. So that is our amount of dividend per common shareholder shares so they each get 50 cents so the in this particular example the preferred shareholders got a lot more than the common shareholders but that's not always the case that is just in this particular example that's the way it worked out but this again if we multiply 50 cents per share times the 2 million shares that eats up the rest of that 1 million dollars worth of dividends to be paid out, which is the portion of profits. So that is how you um, calculate the price per share or the dividends per share for common stock and preferred stock. Hopefully you have found this helpful. I do invite you to join this channel. If you join the membership, there are some special perks for that and there's information down below. You just hit the join button, which is next to the subscribe button. and uh, you can get some membership benefits, including live videos and interaction with me. There's a priority for if you're going to want a particular video made, members get priority on that. So if a member requests a particular video, I'm going to work on that one first. So there's a lot of benefits to that. So other than that, I recommend that you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Thank you.